Today I'm cycling the Flitchway, a 15 mile country park that follows the route of an old railway line from Braintree to Bishop Stortford. It is a popular and scenic destination for cyclists of all levels, as it offers a traffic free, flat and well surfaced path through the Essex countryside. You can enjoy the wildlife, history and views along the way. So that sign behind me there is actually very significant to today's ride. So I'm going to ride the Flitchway. Um, it's got a circular route to get to the other side to start the ride. Um, I did try to do this ride um, back in, I think it was February. Um, for some reason, I went to the completely wrong starting place or what I thought was a side place, which was completely wrong, cycled the Flitchway, ended up here. I need to realise I was two hours away from where my car was. Anyway, that is a whole other story. So here we go, time to get on the Flitchway today, and let's go. So left the flitchway behind, uh, was doing a nice circular route going to well the start of my ride anyway, almost sort of my flitchway. Um, could be the end, could be the start, who knows? But anyway, going to one in now, hopefully down the little quiet lanes like this. Uh too very windy, as you may be able to hear. Um, but um, yeah, coming back the window will be behind me and also, it's also quite short as well, so I'm looking forward to this ride a lot. Okay, let's go. And it's a good job I brought my coral bike because straight away we're going to a little bit of an off road section. Oh, uh, have fun. Interesting. Uh, it's quite fortuitous that the route does go across a wheat field ready for harvest because today is Lunasa, the traditional celebrate of grain harvest. So there we go. So this is a public footpath, but uh, pretty much not um, attended to at all. So I think I'm going to take a safer option and do a bike or hike along it. Oh well, I think it's going to take me a little bit longer than what I thought it would. Right, just had to backtrack quite a bit because I thought my route went straight on, but it doesn't, it goes down here, so. Okay, let's get going again. But on a positive note, this at least looks to be well rideable for the last 0.4 miles I've got to go. Well, goodness knows where I go now. This is just yet another adventure. So where do I mark? Right, that was the way I came. My route wanted me to go right, which I did, but that was blocked. Um, the only route, other route that way was back the way I came, so I guess we just try and go left and head off down here and see where we come out to. Oh well, it's all fun on the ride. At least this one's not too bad. Another good uh, reason why to check your route in detail before you go on it. Don't rely on descriptions, because I just did not realise that this was basically a gravel ride. Oh well, let's get going again. Right. Let's get heading off down here and try and make some time up. So hopefully um, we're back onto country lanes again. Uh, Garmin sort of says this goes on for three miles and then back onto a normal road. So yeah, oh, this is a bit of an adventure I didn't know I was going to have. But I'm well up for it now. Okay, let's go. Okay, so finally I'm at the Flitchway, which as you can see is part of the National Cycle Route 16. And this used to be the station. Um, quite obviously, that no longer, no longer use. Now I need to go that way, but I'm going to explore more this way to see if I can get to find out where the which way actually starts so I can truly cycle end to end. Um, way so far way behind time it, it just doesn't matter anymore so 
yeah, let's, let's be out for the journey and the adventure. Okay, let's get on with it. Right, well, I don't think I can get any further down there. So, let's now head back and do the flitch way end to end. Okay, so here's the map. We did actually start there, although I came on to Flitchway there, went back to the start. Now we come back and we're round about here, high across the east. And when we get to Dunmo, we've got to come off um, just, to, just to go through the central Dunmo, and then we'll carry on all the way down to Braintree. Okay, looking good. Okay, so past we done now and back on the switchway and eight miles to go, feeling good and bits that I recognise really well now. Okay, let's get on with it. So here I am at the tea room, or the station that's converted into the tea room, and it's closed. Oh well, I'll be back next time maybe. <laughs> <laughs> 